Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today is Friday, May 31st, 2019. I'm Dante Grassi. And I'm Phineas Fagnall. Today is a B day or a blue day. This week we are featuring seven math bridge building projects and Hampton Academy scholar leaders. The last box top raffle of the year continues through Friday, June 7th. Bring in 10 box tops and you'll earn one entry into the raffle. Please make sure you put your name and grade on the Ziploc bag. There will be multiple winners per grade. You can put your box tops in a box top drop-off box placed near the courtyard door for this contest. Bring in a box tops to win. First, we have me. First, we have green pepper slice, fruit, and milk. The Hampton Academy Spring Concert will be on Tuesday, June 11th at Wanakunit High School. The band will perform at 6 and the chorus will be at 7.15 p.m. The tech department would like the teachers at Hampton Academy who are in a classroom with an interactive panel to please leave their password for the board with the office for the summer. The 7th grade math classes are working on a special challenge. They have researched bridges and shared their findings with Mrs. Ms. Dutton and Ms. Goudreau. They are currently working in groups of 3, 4, and 5 to construct bridges using toothpicks. Each group has a project director, an architect, a carpenter, a transportation chief, and an accountant. The bridges have to be at least 5 centimeters high and 4 centimeters wide. Later, the bridges will be judged according to the neatness, the cost, and how well the bridges match the plans. They will be tested. Tested for strength and weights will be added to them. We'll keep you updated when the judging takes place. On Wednesday, June 5th, will be an early release day. Students will be dismissed at 11.30. Friday, June 14th, will be the last day of school for students. Dismissal will be at 11.30. Thursday, June 13th, will be the 8th grade final assembly. It will be at 6 p.m. Last evening, the 6th grade ran their annual Expo of the Americas and Ancient History Museum. We will have photos from the event on next week's Shark News. Stay tuned! Tomorrow, June 1st, the Police Department is sponsoring a bike rodeo. It is a free event and is open to the Hampton community. Participants will learn bike safety and road rules, and they'll be able to register their bikes. Gus's Bike Shop will be doing safety inspections. There will also be an opportunity for you to decorate your helmet and participate in an obstacle course. Once again, the bike rodeo is on Saturday, June 1st. It will be held at Marston School from noon till 2 p.m. Did you know that the Hampton Academy Shark Spirit Week is coming soon? It will be happening starting Thursday, June 6th through Wednesday, June 12th. Thursday will be Character Day. Friday will be Sports Day. Monday will be Neon's Day. Tuesday will be Decade Day. And Wednesday will be Color Day. 6th grade will be gold, 7th blue, and 8th white. Start planning what you will wear for each day. Hey, did you see the new school wing? They opened it up. It looks really cool. Yeah, and we're going to have a new auditorium, a new cafeteria, and a huge library. I mean, library. Yes! Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, I'm looking forward to all that, to all these changes. I'm having a hard time just focusing in school. It was really hard to focus during the state testing. It's really stressful. Talk about stressful. How about going to win a cunt next year? Whoa. Like, it's cool and all, all the after school activities and the classes, like graphic design. Exciting and nerve wracking, real red zone material. It's stressful when you don't know what to expect. I mean, I don't even know what team I'm going to be on next year. Last year, when I prepared the back to school list, I asked my neighbor who was a grade ahead of me. She gave me a lot of tips about preparing for sixth grade. That's like at Step Up Day in March. We had at Wenakana High School. We toured the school and met students coming from Seabrook, Hampton Falls, and Northampton. It really helped me calm down. My big sister did the Sea to Summit program last summer before her freshman year at Wenakana. She got us. She got a chance to see what high school was like, and she got lots of tips on high school preparation. By the time classes started, she knew so much already. She was psyched, not panicked. I bet it's much easier to be in a new situation when you get to check it out beforehand. Like practicing before you have to do it for real. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Why spend time worrying when there are so many ways to find out what it's gonna, what it's gonna be like before you get there? Recently, some Hampton Academy students were honored at the New Hampshire branch of the New England League of Middle School Dinner. 
Emily Curry and Bailey Jacobs won third place in a video contest. They received a $250 prize, a table at the dinner, as well as a ticket for a teacher to, the, to attend the NELMS conference next year. Also honored at the conference, along with students from over 40 schools throughout New Hampshire, were Emily Curry and Ryan King. They are recognized as students who have distinguished themselves in terms of outstanding scholarship and leadership. Congratulations, Emily and Ryan. Are you sick and tired of the same old cereal? We'll now train new book bites. Based on the action-packed mystery novel, Mr. Lomoncello's Library Olympics by Chris Grabenstein, book bites are packed with wacky flavors, just like the wacky Luigi Lomoncello. There are 27 different flavors. Can you taste them all? Now in specially marked packages, you can have a chance to win a college scholarship to the college of your choice. So what are you waiting for? Bug Bites are only out for a limited time, so get them while you can at your local grocery store or supermarket. Wacky tastes good! On Wednesday, 25 members of the Hampton Academy Shark News team, as well as Mrs. McNichol and Mr. Murphy, traveled to Newton, Massachusetts to visit NBC Boston and NECM. Our team toured the facility to learn about careers in broadcast news and how a news station operates. Greeting us at the door was Kate Minichello, who is the Director of Human Resources at the station and also the daughter of our su Superintendent of Schools, Kathleen Murphy. Kate made us feel very welcome and had arranged a thorough tour of the building, including time spent with the news talent, as well as tours of the writers, graphic artists, and various other team members work. We started our visit by checking out some of the control rooms and studios. We also watched a taping of a segment that was being recorded to air near Father's Day. It was an interview with Deborah Plummer, author of the book, Some of My Friends Are. It was interesting to watch the cameras, the teleprompter, and Latoya Edwards, an Emmy Award anchor at NECN, do the interview. You know, the cultures, the people, our diversity, it's what makes our community really shine. And someone shining the light and leading the way is Dr. and author Deborah Plummer, the Vice Chancellor and Chief Diversity Officer at UMass Medical School. She joins us now, vibrant in that beautiful color. Thank you for being here on This is the Wayland. Thank you for inviting me. Thanks, LaToya, for letting us watch. We spent time in the studio meeting and speaking with Matt Noyes, the weatherman. Okay, well welcome. You are now in what we call Studio A. Studio A is our primary studio where we do a lot of our uh, live shows and taping for NBC 10 Boston. So anything you see on Channel 10 uh, is coming out of right here. Uh, we got the big uh, camera that you see up on the wall there. That camera is a live camera looking down in Boston. It's called a 4K camera. You guys might know about it. Ultra HD, right? Super high quality stuff. And that is constantly a live image. It's always up there. Over here is the weather center. There's meteorologist Michael Page. Hi, Michael Page. Hi, <laughs> Welcome. So Michael just came off of air on NECN, which is our regional cable news network. So we actually, believe it or not, run three stations out of this building. We run the NBC Channel 10 station. We run NECN, New England Cable News, a 24-hour news network to all of New England, from northern Maine to southern Connecticut. And then we also run Telemundo New England, which is uh, for Spanish-speaking viewers. Check out this interview Mel had with Matt. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today I'm here with a meteorologist from NBC, Matt Noyce. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Mel. Thanks for talking with us. How long have you been doing your job? You know, I've been doing my job almost 20 years, believe it or not. 19 years since I graduated from college, and so I've been in TV since. That's cool. Um, what's your favorite part about your job? My favorite part, honestly, is actually interacting with the community because I grew up around here. So being able to meet with school kids like yourself or being able to go out into the community and see some of our charity groups and charity events, that's actually one of my favorite kind of most rewarding parts. The other thing would definitely be the science of meteorology, forecasting the crazy weather of New England. Cool. And what advice would you give for someone going into meteorology? You know, my advice for anyone going into meteorology or anything else, anything at all, my advice is the same. 
never give up on yourself. And the reason I say that is because sometimes, I'll give you, an, for instance, with me, I actually failed some of the advanced math classes in college and had to take them two or three times in order to pass them and become a meteorologist. So all of us may fail sometimes, right? But I kind of liken it to a video game or something. If you're playing and you die in the first try, you don't just like walk away and never play the game again, right? It's the same thing in life. Don't ever give up on yourself. If you have a dream, you got to stick to it. It's the only way it'll come true. That's awesome. Thank you for being on Shark News. Thank you very much. Go Shark News. We had a special opportunity to see the Stanley Cup, which was visiting NBC because they had broadcasted the Bruins game. We learned that all the players on the team that wins gets to have the cup for a day. The cup. Um, when you win the cup, you get to have your name on it. This year's winner is going to go right down here. they will be on there for 64 years before their names are retired into the Hockey Hall of Fame. The trophy travels around the world. Each member of the winning team gets to have a day with it. And, uh, you know, the guys get to have a little fun with it, they eat ice cream out of it, maybe cereal, uh, take a parade, go golfing. Go it was a great day in which we learned about a lot of careers in broadcast news. Thank you, NBC, NECN, and Telemundo. And now for your weather. So we have one weather photo to share with you today. Jumping off to the stars sent in by Avanish Athalori. Thank you, Avanish, for sending that in. And remember, you can send your weather photos at SA, sharknews at su90.org or hashtag them at hashtag sharknewsweatherpics. And now for our day planner, at 8 o'clock a.m., it will be 59 degrees and sunny. At 12 o'clock p.m., it will warm up to 65 degrees. And at 4 o'clock p.m., it will be 63 degrees and stay sunny throughout the rest of the day. And now for our five-day forecast. On Saturday, it will be 63. There will be a high of 63 degrees and a low of 53 degrees, with partly cloudy skies and a stray shower or thunderstorm as possible. On Sunday, there will be a high of 62 degrees and a low of 54 degrees, with considerable cloudiness with an occasional rain showers. On Monday, there will be a high of 67 degrees and a low of 49 degrees, with a chance of a shower or two during the morning and cloudy skies in the afternoon. Lastly, on Tuesday, we're looking at a high of 64 degrees and a low of 50 degrees with sunshine and cloud mix throughout the whole day. That's your weather. I'm Laura Muldoon. Our thought for the day comes from James R. Cook, who is the author of books such as Full Faith Credit and Startup Entrepreneur. He wrote, do just once what others say you can't do, and you will never pay attention to their limitations again. Hi, it's Avanish back with the back this week. And since I didn't have a specific topic, here's three completely random but interesting facts. Did you know Russian cosmonauts, basically Russian astronauts, pa used to pack a shotgun just in case they landed in Siberia and had to fend off bears? So in the space capsule, there's just a shotgun sitting around, so I wouldn't feel safe around that. Anyway, the annual number of worldwide shark bites is 10 times less than the number of people that will bite you in New York which is really weird and kind of gets you to think right there. And also the last fact and probably the most, I guess, interesting fact is when Canada's Northwest Territories considered renaming itself in the 1990s, one of the most popular names was uh, Bob. So I'm not even going to comment there. That's your uh, facts. I'm Avanish and I hope you have a great weekend. Celebrating her birthday today is Tasia Correa. Celebrating on Saturday are Jacob Baker, Timmy Knight, Evan Merrick, Tyler Prunier, Marissa Royce, and Cliff Taylor. Celebrating on Sunday is Julian LeMay. Happy birthday, Tasia, Jacob, Timmy, Evan, Tyler, Marissa, Cliff, and Julian. And now for your jokes, make sure to send in your jokes at sharknews at scu90.org. Hey, Jessica. What? What do you call a bear with no ears? I don't know. What? A bee. <laughs> <laughs> The seventh grade math classes are working on a special challenge. <laughs> Remember, before you speak, text, or post, ask yourself, is it kind, is it true, or is it necessary? And remember the Academy way. Manage yourself. Act responsibly. And respect yourself and others. Go out well, there and make, make it a great, great day. day.